Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is the Natatmo Urban Weather Station. Now I must admit when I received this to review, I was a little bit dubious as to whether I would actually enjoy testing it. But I must say right at the beginning of this video, I've really enjoyed sort of testing this uh, gadget and it's rather interesting in the information it actually delivers to you. Now this is the box, I'm gonna show you the actual product in a short while. It consists of two units. This is an outdoor unit, which you can see on your screen now, and you position this in your garden. A um, little bit disappointing, in the instructions, it actually tells you to uh, position it in a shaded area, so not right out in direct sunlight or direct rain. So that was a little bit disappointing because I thought, well, I just want to stick it in the middle of my lawn and see how it performs. But I found a, a decent spot to put it on a little sort of window ledge where it was a little bit sheltered. And then alongside these two products, and again, I will show you this indoor one in a short while, uh, you download a free app and that resides on your iPhone and that allows you to monitor the weather that these two uh, devices actually capture. And then inside the box, let's give you a little look at what you get. You do get sort of a setup procedure. So you can see here, this is how you install the batteries. One of them actually plugs into the mains as well. Then you've got the website that you go to and some positioning instructions as well. Now, the actual setup procedure was a pain. It really was a real nuisance to get them set up. I'll tell you why. These two uh, particular modules, you plug this one into your computer, you go to that website to set everything up. It never indicated at all that this one automatically connected. And I spent ages trying to find it. And then eventually I did find that this was already automatically connected. So it would have saved a little bit of time if they'd have said the outdoor monitor is connected somewhere. You also get a little sort of package in here. And this has got some adapters, some Velcro sort of cable ties, some screws for mounting the devices. Uh, we've also got a Euro adapter in here as well. And this one here is like a USB sort of charger. So you can plug that into the wall outlet and actually run it off mains or battery. So that's sort of what you get inside the box. And as I say, I will show you that indoor monitor in a short while. But first of all, I want to show you the app. So this is the Nitartmo app and it works really well indeed. We've got the main user interface showing at the moment and you can sort of click this info button and it gives you an overlay as to what everything means. So if I do that, we've got sort of current weather, outdoor temperature, humidity, what the actual outdoor temperature feels like, air quality, indoor comfort, indoor carbon dioxide level, indoor temperature, humidity and pressure as well. And then we can X that out and actually see the information. So if we look at this top portion here, you can see it's 16.6 .6 degrees centigrade outside, 100% humidity, feels like 19. Uh, very low air quality outside. And if we tap on that, it actually should tell us, oh, we tap here, there we go. It tells us why. So the main pollutant is ozone, which is affecting the air quality outside. Then we've got this bottom section, 20.5 degrees indoors, 77% humidity, and 140, sorry, 1,040 millibars of pressure inside as well. And then we can sort of swipe that up and we get some more information. Uh, carbon dioxide, 924 ppm, which is sort of a little bit on the high side. It's not ideal. And then we've got a sound meter as well, or sound pressure reading of 52 dB. So um, when I'm recording this video, when I do an update later, because I'm talking quite loud, that will probably go up a tiny bit. And then we can just uh, sweep that down as well. We've also got some extra bits up the top here. So we can tap on this one and gain access to settings or switching users. And then we've also got a log as well. Now when I push the button on the internal uh, monitor or internal module, it actually records a log. So we can tap on this, and these are the different measurements that have happened. The one that's highlighted in red, if I put this round into landscape mode, it actually gives me a scrollable graph, and this is the carbon dioxide in the room. And you can see here, it sort of peaks really high at some stages when there's a lot of us in the room. And then we get like a timeline that we can scroll across, and we can see the scale for CO2. We can also tap this, and change that scale to humidity, pressure, sound meter, or even outdoor temperature. So if we do the outdoor temperature one, 
we can actually see how the outdoor temperature fluctuates and then at night time you can see it went down to sort of 12 degrees 12 13 degrees and then as it got warmer during the day we are up to around about 16.7 so it all works really well if we go back around into this orientation we can go back to the main interface so the app i'm very very impressed with it gives a lot of detail you can also log into your account on the internet as well so you get a larger sort of web-based interface so you can use it either via the app or via the internet so now let's just take a look at that indoor monitor so you get an idea as to how that's made and the quality of the product so this is the indoor module i've already shown you the outdoor module you can actually see it again just top right here that's positioned out in the garden and then this is the indoor module, which has got this sort of LED strip here, which gives you various feedback when you use the touch sensitive area at the top. Now I found that even though this has got batteries installed in the bottom, the indoor module takes four double A's, the outdoor module four AAA's. A's, that when it's not plugged into the mains, it doesn't operate very well. It, it sort of keeps track of its monitoring process, but you can't sort of demand uh, extra updates and you demand a measurement so it monitors all the time but you can actually sort of invoke an extra measurement by tapping and holding here for about a second to two seconds so i feel that it needs to be plugged in all the time and you plug it in via the usb adapter that i showed you earlier this micro usb one is used for actually connecting it to your computer to actually set it up and you can set it up with either a windows based computer or a mac based computer it's all done via the internet i should also mention actually very very quickly that the app is available on ios and android it's available for ipod iphone ipad and android devices as well back to the the monitors it's a sort of metal casing it feels fairly well made uh, the only negative i can come up with with the netatmo is it wasn't very intuitive to set up as I say, it didn't give me feedback as to the outdoor module and whether it was connected. You can purchase additional ones of these and you can monitor different areas as well. So that's really nice. I could get another one of these modules and monitor upstairs as well, for example. So overall, a really nice package. I like the Urban Weather Station from Nitatmo. Just a little bit of fine tweaking on the way you set things up and I think it would be almost perfect. And I surprised myself. It's really very interesting uh, monitoring the indoor and outdoor weather, the temperature, the humidity, and even the uh, air quality as well. I can't vouch for how accurate it is, but it's interesting nonetheless. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please do click that like button. Please subscribe, check out the links below. I'll see you all in the next one.